Thank you so much, Principal. Let us pray. We pray in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Once again, dear Lord, we come before you this morning. We want to say thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. And thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be in this place. We want to thank you, Lord, for our parents. We thank you, Lord, for our teachers. We thank you, Lord, for our friends and for our colleagues. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to listen to your word. Come now, Holy Spirit, and redirect our thoughts and our hearts unto the marvelous ways of our God. This we pray in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. First of all, may I greet the office of the principal, deputy principal, the teachers, and the students with their portfolios or offices or position of leadership. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes, I'm happy this morning. The principal has introduced me as reverend. Uh, I'm Reverend Kenon David Zungu. But uh, usually we don't call the elders by name. You will only just call him a reverend, uh, Kenon Zungu. Amen. So we are going to read from the gospel according to St. Luke. I'm happy that the, the principal spoke to you in English. So I'm happy I am at liberty to speak English. We are reading from the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 12. Beginning with verse 39 to 48. 40, uh, 39 to 48. And you can be sure that if the owner of the house knew the time when the thief would come, he would not let the thief break into his house. And you too must be ready because the Son of Man will come at any hour when you are not expecting him. Peter said, Lord, does this parable apply to us? Or do you mean it for everyone? The Lord answered, Who then is the faithful and wise servant? He is the one that his master will put in charge to run the household and give the, the other servants their share of the 
food at the proper time. How happy that servant is if his master finds him doing this when he comes home. Indeed, I tell you, the master will put that servant in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself that his master is taking a long time to come back, and if he begins to beat the other servants, both the men, the men and women, and eats and drinks and gets drunk, then the master will come back one day when the servant does not expect him and at a time he does not know. The master will cut him in pieces and make him share the facts of the disobedience. The servant who knows what his master wants him to do but does not get himself ready and do it will be punished with a servant with a heavy whipping. But the servant who does not know what his master wants and yet does something for which he deserves a whipping will be punished with a light whipping. But much is required from the person to whom much is given, much more is required from the person to whom much more is given. Lord, bless the reading of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. This morning, we are reading from this gospel of St. Luke. The writer of this gospel is giving warnings to the people who are waiting for something or waiting for somebody. Here he talks of a watchful servant as well as the faithful or unfaithful servant. When we are waiting or watching for something, we give all our energy and all our time. We give the best for what we are waiting for. Here, the first parable talks of a wedding. The one who will come will come as a bridegroom for a wedding. Those who will be found worthy waiting will be given a reward. The very groom will wait for them, will serve them. But those who are not ready will not be served. And then talks of a servant whereby has been given an authority or a position as a prefect or a monitor or a head boy or a girl, but doesn't do what she or he has to do. The Bible says when the master comes and finds that you are not doing what you are ought to do, then you will be punished even severe. But those who, whom the master will come and find them doing what they were supposed to do, they will get a reward. And therefore, we do not know the hour or the time, the day, the year, the month, the honor will come. So we must be found all the time ready for him. So like those who are, secu those who are security, sometimes this word security, uh, like Manjina Land, has been offended a lot of people. If you call somebody Manjina Land, will beat you. But this was not supposed to. This was a word in English which says, marching on the line. Marching on the line. So that by the time the one who is your supervisor, the supervisor comes, will find that you were marching on the line. You were not walking like a snake, showing that you were slumbering or you were half asleep. So now, talking to you as the learners, we are almost about to write our exams. We should be found worthy. We should be found people who are ready for their exams. Not people who are busy to step 
helping others. We should be found doing our school work. There should be no teacher driving us from behind. More especially the standard fives or the grade seven. You are now going to write your external exams. Some of you, you want to go to St. Michael's, uh, you want to go to whatever, water phones, whatever schools. There, there would be no teacher driving you behind. You are given the task to do. So when you are in class, you have to do your work. You don't need a prefect to say, stop making noise, stop picking society, do your work. When you are at home, you have been given an assignment or a homework, you have to do it. So that when the time for the exam comes, you are rejoicing because what you are going to sit for in the exam room is what we are ready to do. But if you don't do your work, if you don't do studies, then you will be ashamed, you will be embarrassed. You will be busy counting how many crops are there. Busy uh, trying to say, uh, I'm suffering from a stomach a headache, uh, telling all sorts of lies. Yes, because of the frustration, you will be suffering. But now it's time for you to prepare yourself. See a van of a food. No man other class. The core business that they have sent you here is to do your studies. You are a learner here. Who does it so me up? Where would you call it about Paraparati Marty? Hey, Yatanda, Yatanda. Utanda, Utanda. You are wasting your time. You will not make it in life. You are here. Your parents have sent you here so that you can learn, not to learn to propose, but to learn so that you move to the next class. So when you are here, make sure that you are using this time fruitfully. If there is something you don't understand, go to the teacher or go to your next person who knows. Where would the lesson? Let me let's pass on this. No more. Let's put the lesson. See that John. Who cannot see it? Who can see it? Who talk to me? Who can tell the person about who moved you? Who can tell you where you are? When you are not where you are, I'm a busy man. But there is a lot of money in this city. Who can teach you about Zara? And this is very up by Pere Butu. Lono don't follow what I am doing. What I am doing is the attempt to know. But I want to hear. Huh? You know what that you want to hear? Huh? It's because you are not doing your work. And it. If you do your work, your duty, then nobody will ever. Uh, lift up a stick against you. So I'm not going to say to Satan as that. In no way, I'm not going to say that. 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 I accepted Christ Jesus as the Lord, of, Lord and Savior of my life at the age of 13 years. Since then, I was going to start grade one by then, when I was 13 years old. Yes. Then I accepted Christ as the Lord and Savior. I got the one chapisa. But now I see so smart in the school. But then Valerie Gillen. God, when I get up on a booty mill and storm, no more. If Valerie Gillen, I spent a lot of time with my books and listening to the teachers. So now I get a move. I remember learning this this great servant. I want to believe in my distinctions now. We don't talk in my, in my second class. I screw in my second class, in my, in my third class. Now. See, screw my distinction first. Maybe get something about distinction, merit, and first. That's in my age, my second. I need. Bang a glove atop my 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 distinction now. Ah, what's that? Astana. 
Baba na lungi na siya bonga ekseni eka mene liga chesu. Si bonga na li chuba ngo sile li vlogo tishela. Wewe kuti site, site uguma pangwa la bantwa na bako. Site uguma kumbuta ngo sile kuti basende ya tifundo tago. Abanga li bali na hawe chesu. Abati wa uti uyabuya masinyane. Futi ufuna batuwa la bali nzi. Ute la ufuna, la ufuna kona uti utuola uti. Ukona la beba ema pese la labanye, beba ema pugu alabanye, eba e chuga labanye, labo batawe ya esuwa kwenkota ufuna batola, bonke bantwa na batonipa, basebenda, bati misela na nisebe njua kwa eskolo. Sia batandaze la gengwa kwa uti, kwa shisa bonke na munga bati stepa, sinika labo tishe la bonke ngosi, Nama tela imi sebe tila minye ngozi. Tenga beba isebe nja bakule tima le tingu ono. Kwa kwa ngozi pati nigele kuti bete la. Pato sebe na baba nba na beskolo. Si yaba nigele kulu kulu kena manja onge kuti. Na bobotishe la pati misele. Ebu sitye la bandu ana ngao onge manja abo. Kuse chimbo si maku fina skase pecho kwa ninyanga. Botishe la pati si urile ura logushe. Sili kichimine li banga letu. Sa wenja umsebe tu etu. Ngao nyalo sa si mele kukwa.